Welcome back. Rich Abney joins us now as sports and high school basketball resumed again last night in the city. Certainly did. Thank you very much, Aileen. DP Todd won the city championship last year in senior boys basketball, but lost much of its backcourt to graduation this offseason. They were looking to move to 2-0 on the season last night with the visiting College Heights in the Trojans' gym. There's grade 11 Ryan Gayski of the Trojans looking to fill the shoes of some of those graduated guards. And Alex Benny, another grade 11, playing big minutes for the Cougars. We're going to pick this one up in the fourth quarter. Trojans actually trailing by seven at this point, but chipping away. They go inside to the big man, Hayden Molchak, who goes glass and in to get them a little bit closer. Then his brother, Joel Molchak, is going to take the pass here, go baseline and elevate at the hoop, laying it in and getting DP Todd to just within a few points. Now, the lead down to one, but Isaac Goodrich is going to find Merrick at Cutler, who fires from beyond the arc and buries it. He was a killer in three-point line last night, extending the Cougars' lead. DP Todd, though, keeps coming. Again, though, Cutler takes a bounce pass from Benny, calls his own number from long range, splash, the lead to four again. Now just a one-point game with 30 seconds left. Molchak's going to get a steal here and fouled in the process of shooting, so he's going to go to the line to try to tie the game. He makes one of his two shots here, as you see, tying it up, and we're going to overtime. In the extra frame, the Trojans use their size over and over. This time it's Anthony Myadovic who gathers the loose ball and gets the put back. College Heights looking to get back into it, down seven at this point, as Tim Bamgabade takes it to the hole, draws the foul, and gets it to drop. Nice little play there, but the Trojans, too much size in overtime. Hayden Molchek's going to find a loose ball in the key, drop it in for an easy deuce. The Trojans come back to win this one 76-70 over College Heights in overtime. Here are both teams talking about what happened in this one. It's just a mental game. It's the start of the season, and we're just going to try to get into it, right? And uh... It's, it's no big deal. I think we can uh, come back next next tournament or if we face them then and just try our best and try to stay in it mentally. I think we came out and proved proved to everyone that we're like we can we can win some games and we can come close with the big teams. We were panicking too much and it felt good like when we came out in the third and fourth quarter, how we just kind of slowed the ball down, kept it to our pace and, and tightened up on our defense. You can't win all the time, so you still got to give it your 110% every every minute of every single game possible and you can't just go out and slack it like we did in the first two quarters. 